Hey you guys, so I want to go over something today which I know is inevitable for you and it comes up for all of us, but it's about the mindset of trying to be perfect, uh, which is pretty impossible to achieve. And when you're following one of our nutrition plans and you're doing our workouts, um, there are always going to be temptations surrounding us on a daily basis. Um, they surround me, they surround you. And the most important thing to remember is when you're following one of our programs is to not beat yourself up when temptation comes calling and you fall victim to it because we all do it. And do you know what? It's about finding that balance between um, the 80% of keeping fairly healthy habits over the 20% of treats and when life gets in the way. So um, a reason why in our, in our um, nutrition plans, we encourage you to try and restrict the amount of carbs that you're eating or refined carbs that you're eating and sugar that you're drinking and eating uh, is the fact that it has such a negative effect on our cortisol levels, which is the stress hormone in our bodies. And for ladies of a certain age, um, that also really has a negative effect on our estrogen levels, which can make menopausal and perimenopausal system, uh, uh, symptoms even more chaotic and difficult to deal with. So um, if you can, you know, be really mindful of cutting out the cutting out the processed food or seriously restricting the processed food seriously restricting the the refined carbs and replacing them with something that's that's the healthier option your cortisol levels are going to be a lot smoother so you know a, a, a tendency for people who like wine like me or that have got a sweet tooth after their evening meal is you wake up in the early hours and that's because your body's gone into stress because you've had something sweet that wasn't um, a slow release sweetness so it was an unhealthy kind of sweetness and your cortisol levels are starting to raise because your blood sugars have dropped and your body's going into a stress response and it wakes you up and you know on top of everything else that we deal with it's something that's so easy to fix just by cleaning up our act a little bit. So be mindful of the reason why, apart from, you know, obviously, if you're not eating refined carbs and you're cutting down processed sugars and processed food, you are not going to be getting the belly bloat that you would normally get. But also, um, our bodies only have a certain amount of energy. And if our bodies are, are wasting energy because we're trying to we're in nutritional stress because of the, the, the not so good foods that we're eating. Um, you know, our body's then wasting more energy on trying to combat that nutritional stress that we're in. So, you know, if we can create the, the, the best environment on a balanced basis for our bodies through reasonably clean eating, through drinking plenty of water, through moving and exercising, through mindfulness techniques, then um, we're just creating a more optimal biome as it were for us to flourish and to achieve those results that we want to achieve that we know we can achieve but the most important thing is to not beat yourself up when things happen yeah life gets in the way you might have a crappy day at work and you really reach the bottle of wine and all you want to do is eat I don't know you want to get a takeout meal and if you do that don't worry about it just you know it's happened the worst thing you can do is drink the wine eat the meal and then beat yourself up about it because again you're just wasting negative energy on it if it happens let it go but make sure that it happens occasionally and that it's not happening all the time that's the difference it's like i can't remember somebody said once if you eat and add an extra digestive biscuit just one digestive biscuit to your uh, overall food intake every single day you're going to put on something like i can't remember six pounds in six months something like that it, it was quite astounding if everything else remained the same and you just added that one thing to it so be mindful of the fact you know even if you eat it quickly and i know this is the technique and we're all guilty of it you eat it fast you think oh, it doesn't count but it does so just be mindful keep the keep the treats as treats and keep the healthy living as the, the sort of 80 percent of the rest of the stuff that you do um, it is mindset before you have it if you're looking at it and you're thinking, mm, ask yourself, do you really need it? And often the answer is no. Another technique to help you overcome that immediate sort of urge to eat something or drink something that's not so good for you is just to drink a large glass of water. 
get it down you as fast as you can sit with that urge for a couple of minutes and I bet you'll I bet you the urge will go or it'll be a lot lot less the other thing that uh, some people tend to do is they've had two biscuits out of the pack or two chocolates out of the box and they think had to just finish them off <laughs> and how many of us are guilty of that again don't do that stop yourself so have many if you've had the two or three put the box away you don't need to eat the entire box and get rid of it and just have a major splurge the two or three is a lot lot better than just allowing yourself to like subconsciously eat you, you you know you're not consciously eating because you're just gorging then so try and avoid that temptation that you know you've you've decided that you've had to so you might as well just finish them all off no put the lid back on put them away come away from it have a glass of water or have something that's a healthy sweet option and um and then don't beat yourself up about it so i hope those tips might help um, we're all guilty of them, so don't you know? Don't think you're. It's just you that has these. Oh, we all struggle with them. None of us are like. Well, there are a few people that are like human machines, but not many. And I'm not sure if I'd want to be too friendly with one of those human machines anyway, because they're kind of like a pain in the ass. So keep it balanced, but try and remember to keep the healthy living about eighty percent of the time, and the other twenty percent some fun chill out a bit relax enjoy it you're alive life is not should not revolve around stress around your food and your drink but keep the treats as treats and make a conscious effort to have strategies in place if you get that urge have the glass of water have a healthy alternative you know make you can make some really uh, they're easy to make some you know some a blend up some dates some chia seeds, some goji berries, um, and then you can sort of make them into balls and you can freeze them or chill them and they make really healthy, nutritious snacks. So, you know, if you've got a sweet tooth, go for the healthier option. Um, anyhow, with that, have a great rest of your day and I hope that's been helpful.